Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. Before we get into putting the algae filter together, I thought I'd show you these little guys. Uh, these are baby guppies. They got sucked into uh, part of a filter in one of my client's tanks and I definitely wanted to rescue them. They're a little thin at the moment. I'm feeding them vinegar eels and they are actually fattening up quite quickly. And I'll show you a little clip here in a second which is of them the next day. Uh, this is a vinegar eel harvester I made a little while back and it's actually working quite well. I actually really like vinegar eels. Uh, they're exactly no work whatsoever to keep maintaining. I tried giving a little bit of a close-up here, uh, but it's very grainy. Uh, but you can see they've got some bellies on them now. This is the, the actually the next day. So they're, they're doing quite well. I'll move them into an actual aquarium uh, with uh, plants and other stuff in probably another couple of days. I just do 100% water changes at this point. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that. It's nothing really exciting, but uh, I really actually like baby fish. So it's kind of uh, nice that I managed to uh, rescue them. Now I didn't show you this. So this is the frame. I can't just uh, set these things into the tank itself. Uh, this, so this is just what holds it all up. And it's just straightforward. It's just four pieces of metal and I just drill the holes and uh, bolt it all together. So it's uh, I didn't bother uh, showing clips of that. The algae filter actually uh, turned out quite well. There's one modification I want to make that I'm going to show at the end. Uh, it's just to... You see those larger holes there where the, the slots where the, the plastic part fits in? Uh, I think they're just a little large. Uh, this is going to be in a living room, uh, so I thought I'd uh, cut that down. But that's about the only thing I'm going to change, I think. And as, they, as this progresses, you'll see I'm only putting uh, Chato into one of them at the moment. And then as that grows, I will subdivide it, obviously, and put it into the other as well. So for all intents and purposes, for the first probably two weeks, uh, this filter will only be running at half capacity. But that's not such a big deal. It, it is actually probably a good idea to uh, break these things in gradually anyway. So that's uh, pretty much the only real modifications and whatnot that I'll be doing to this. There is another part I'm thinking about, <laughs> now that I've said that. Uh, you can see there's room off to the right here. Uh, so once this is all hooked up, there will actually be space over there that I can do other things. And I'm thinking of taking the two outputs for these filters and move them over to the far right there. And then I was thinking of trying some other types of filtration on this because it's, there's a lot of room above this tank. And it's uh, at least uh, 16 inches in height and then it's six feet long and then two feet wide. So that's an awful lot of space. I thought it'd be kind of cool to try some above tank stuff. If you guys have any suggestions on what you might want to do, uh, keep in mind this is a marine tank and uh, you know that does have some sort of influence on what I can do with it. Uh, but let me know. I mean, you can't obviously put a pothos filter on this or anything because uh, it will die in the salt. But anyway, just uh, leave some suggestions below. I will be giving an update on this tank as well uh, once I get this up and running. There are a few more things I want to do to it. Um, uh, but it's, uh, it's doing quite well. It's got, I just put a bunch of new fish in it and there's some more stuff I want to do, but uh, that's all for future videos. That's pretty much how easy this is to set up. All I need to do now is, uh, I'm going to put on the intake pipes and the output pipes. Uh, I'm not going to glue any of it into place. Uh, it's not necessary to glue them because, uh, these fittings are actually quite tight. And they, uh, you might get a little bit of salt creep out of them, but other than that, uh, they're pretty good. And it's easy to wash and set up anyway. And the reason why I do that is I like to take these out from time to time and clean them. And I don't really want to have to clean the whole thing all at once because that's the whole purpose of this is to uh, alternate. So again, that's the reason I want to make this as easy to take apart as possible. And that way I can take parts out, put parts in clean one of the filters out and uh, not the other and you know stuff I've already told you lots about. So this is the input pipe. It's just uh, two elbows and a T and I'm going to originally like I don't want to put any valves on this. I really want to keep it as flowing as possible. I don't want to put any restrictions whatsoever. 
and I don't think there's going to be enough of a difference between the flow rates between each of these filters to uh, warrant anything like that. But as it runs and as it you know, ages and all that other stuff, I may have to make some sort of changes to it. We'll see how that goes. The other thing, uh, I found a good pump finally. I'm not going to tell you what the brand is right now because I want to uh, give it some time to actually prove itself over the long term. But unfortunately, one of the, uh, well, not really unfortunately. Unfortunately, in this particular case, it pumps out too much water. So I had to uh, dial it back quite a bit. On the front of the pump, there is an adjuster where you can uh, turn it and it restricts the amount of water that gets into the impeller. Uh, it's probably the best way of doing that sort of thing because if you put it on the output, you can end up with cavitation in the pump and that will cause uh, additional wear. But uh, on the inside, it's, it's not ideal, but I can't really find um, in this particular type of pump and the type of quality I want, one that pumps uh, a low enough amount of water. For most cases, it's fine. Uh, like for the Diatom filter I have, it's perfect. Um, but in this particular case, it is uh, <laughs> it would overflow these two things. So it's uh, obviously not good for that. So I dial it back as much as I you know, well, felt comfortable doing. And as it turns out, it's it's fine. It's uh, I don't hear any humming from the pump or anything, so I think we're going to be pretty good here. And this is pretty much all done. All I need to do now is uh, just turn on the lights, uh, make sure they're still all working, and then turn on the water pump and make sure the flow's calibrated properly. Uh, oh, actually, one more thing here. I do need to put the ballast on. I'm not attaching the ballast to anything. It fits nicely into the two grooves between uh, the, the lid, and I use it as an indicator. I mean, I write a lot of notes when I do maintenance on tanks, uh, but this is just an easy visual. I know which one I cleaned last, and that'll be the one that the pump's sitting on. Uh, sorry, the the power uh, bar is put sitting on. So it's just an easy way of keeping track of things. That's all. There you go. That's done. And like I said, I'm just going to hook this up now, turn it on, uh, get it all flowing, and then, of course, uh, put the Chato in, and that's it. Uh, it's actually a very easy uh, install. It took, well, I mean, none of this has been fast-forwarded so far. There is a little bit of a fast-forward coming up when I uh, do the water uh, adjustment. There's lights on now. Uh, but that's just it. I mean, so far it's been, what, seven minutes, and uh, this is the, the whole install. So here is the... Uh, this, I thought about it before I actually turned it on, which is <laughs> which is good for me. Uh, now I'm just going to turn this down here. There you go. You see it's down quite low. Uh, it's not all the way, obviously, uh, but it works. it's working well enough. So there you go. That's it. I'm going to let this run probably for uh, a couple of weeks before I even do anything with it. Then I'm going to check on it and then... I'll probably uh, film me checking on it and that sort of stuff, and then I think there'll be an update for this, but I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon. That's, uh, I mean, these, there's a Chato there. Uh, it's not a quick thing. It uh, does grow quite well, and, I, and that, the other thing I'm putting on there, by the way, is an intake screen just so it doesn't uh, plug the outflow. But... It does take time to set up, and then, I, like I said, I'm going to divide it up between the two, and then uh, we're good to go. So, anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. It's uh, up and running now. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me know, obviously, in the comments below what you think, and uh, like I said, there's going to be updates on this. <laughs> I haven't decided uh, what I'm going to do with the low-maintenance one yet. I mean, this technically is not expensive to set up, so I could possibly put one on there. But I really, really want to make sure that that is running with the minimal. It may come down to requiring something like this. Uh, this is, again, just the footage of me uh, turning that on. And that's the flow rate through it. You don't actually don't want a lot of flow. Or, sorry, you don't want a lot of, um, like, turbulence. You don't want a lot of... Uh, you want the water to actually be in there for a little bit of time. And that's uh, the good idea for that sort of There you go. Well, this is the other thing I, want. I mentioned at the beginning. I'm going to put on these two little brackets and I'm going to attach a little plate to each of them and I have to still drill the round hole and I want that to just to 
cut down the light. They're going to let me know if it bothers them at all. Um, so far, they don't, they don't think it's a problem, but as you can see, it doesn't really leak that much light. And once the canopy is all back together, there's really not a whole lot for any of that to show up. But I'm going to probably do that anyway, just for the look of the thing. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And always, always let me know what's going on below. And I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.